Okay, go ahead. I'm ready. <laughs> channel you already know what it is I have another video for you but before we begin make sure you hit that thumbs up button and share this video with a friend and leave a comment down below so they know just how lit it is over here after you do that make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you will know every time I post a new video and now let's get into this video so as you can see from the title, this is going to be another why video. And today we are talking about the anointed, the holy, the sanctified, the one, the only, your pastors. Yes. I know somebody's about to be like, oh, heck no. Sending this over to pastor right now. Pastor, she talk about you. Hold your mule because I'm not talking about your pastor the way you think I am. Today we're going to talk about why do preachers do the things that they do? Just a disclaimer, this is not about every pastor. This is not even about your pastor or my pastor. This is just an observation for what I have seen from different types of preachers over the years. So let's get into our first one. We've got, mm, hold your meal, gotta get my mic for this one. We've got the old school preacher. Tell me y'all know about the old school preacher. The old school preacher is that preacher that always be up in your business. The old school preacher is the preacher that just knows, huh? Knows what you've been doing before you've been doing it. And even when you're doing it and you were somewhere where you thought that he would know that how you know how he doing what you're doing. Has he know what you're doing, huh? See? You see how confused you are? That's how confused we be when he be in your business. The old school preacher be giving a sermon like... I know somebody right now in this congregation. You got up this morning and you left a bed that wasn't yours. Hmm? You left the house of that man that's not your husband. You left the house of that woman that's not your wife. Huh? Somebody right now ha, is in here trying to catch the spirit when they still got the wine in spirits on them from last night. Hmm? Somebody right now is recovering from that marijuana trip. <laughs> they said they was gonna take a trip, but it wasn't on a gospel ship. <laughs> they was gonna take a trip <laughs> from the marijuana trip. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how pastor know the tea. I don't know who be telling the old school pastors the tea or where their sources are or who their sources are, but the old school pastors always got the tea. And it's clear to me that they all went to the same school of theology because do y'all notice how the old school pastors have the three, is it the three, the two, the three same things. They got the growl, hmm? they got the breath, and they got the hop. Allow me to demonstrate. Good morning, good morning, good morning, church. Right now, I feel that the Lord is about to do something in here. Right now, I know he's getting ready to make a move in your life. Right now, I know my God is getting ready to shift the spirit. Right now, I know you've been waiting a long time. You've been waiting for him to do it for you. You've been waiting for it, and he's getting ready to do it. I tell you right now, in the book of Jeremiah, the word of the Lord said, Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Now I know that's not a direct quote. It probably wasn't even in the book of Jeremiah, but I know it was in a Bible somewhere. So I'm going to go ahead and give it to you right now the best way I can. I'm going to give it to you how I know because that's what I remember. Like, Pastor, do you need a ventilator? Do you need some help? Pastor over here sound like he about to die, breathing all heavy and growling at me. Some way, somehow, they know how to strategically plan the high in the right place. See, the high doesn't come after every word or even every sentence. It's just perfectly placed within everything that he's saying to fit exactly how it fit. But I don't get it. <laughs> then you got 
that I know I can sing past it. Now, Chad, this one right here, this one might be personal. I may or may not know what I know I can sing past it, but I may or may not be deciding to keep my mouth shut, huh? But if you close to me, you know who this pastor is. But that's okay. I tell you, it's not my pastor. So don't y'all come over to the LOP talk about my pastor because it ain't my pastor. He know he can't sing. That's why he don't even try it. That I know I can sing pastor. He does not miss a beat and he does not miss a moment. Allow me to demonstrate. Father, thank you right now. Thank you right now for this time. God, thank you for bringing us here in this place today. You know, God, I'm just so grateful for you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You know, I was going to go ahead and eulogize Pastor Sarah um, because, uh, you know, we all here for her gathering and going home service. But I just feel in my spirit that uh, God's got something else for me to do. Brother musician, could you put me in the key of A, please? Give me an A flat. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ah, twinkle, ah, twinkle, ah, a little star. Ah, come on, get me, get, get me, get me, musician, get me, get me. How I wonder ah, what. Oh, my God, you are. See, Pastor Sarah loved this song when she was alive. It was a favorite song that I sang. I said a twinkle, a twinkle, little star. How? I wonder what? I wonder who? I wonder where? They be getting happy. I wonder how? I wonder what you are. Pastor, Pastor, you came here to eulogize Pastor Sarah. Why are you singing? Okay. And then my favorite is they get deep in they serve it, right? And they'd be like, ha! And then the cow jumped over the moon and a knick-knack patty whack. Ha! Give a dog a bone. Ha ha! Old McDonald, he had a farm. Ha ha! Come on, church. E I. Oh! Because on that farm, ha! You better go with me, church. I said, on that farm. Ha! I said, on that farm, he had a pig. <laughs> oh, and that pig said, huh, with a hoink hoink here, <laughs> and a hoink hoink there, <laughs> and a hoink hoink everywhere. Do you notice that the I know I can sing pastors have the best runs? Now, I'm gonna say this they keep you in church for four hours, but their runs. Some of y'all aspiring singers could learn from an I know I can sing past it because they be running for days, marathons, and sprints. <laughs> then you have the new millennium pastors. Child, I'm talking to pastors that come out on the stage and be like, we lift our hands in the sanctuary. About to give you this word. We lift our hands to give you the glory. <laughs> Instead of singing the sermon, they be rapping the sermon. <laughs> they be like, I said, oh, big daughter, yeah, he had a farm. Oh, big daughter, yeah, he had a barn. Oh, big daughter had a pig and a cow and a horse and a cat and a dog and a wolf. What up? Uh, he had it. He, he, he had it. Everybody lift your hands. He had it. He, he, he had it. Now, the new millennium pastor will get to the core. The new millennium pastor will talk to you, especially if you're a millennial. They will talk to you or a Gen Z or they'll talk to you the way that you understand. They're going to put it in terms that you understand. So we can appreciate that about a new millennium pastor. Now, and I know I can sing pastor. If he don't come for your patience first, he going to come for your heartstrings. He going to hit you with a song. Hmm. Hmm. That one song that always gets you every time. And then the old school pastor, he going to convict you. He gonna remind you without specifically coming for you directly that what you're doing, you should not be doing. How he knows, I don't know, but he knows, huh? So <laughs> let me know 
in the comments if you have a pastor like this if you've experienced a pastor like this or if there's any pastors out there that i missed <laughs> and tell me your favorite church stories because i need to know i know i can't be the only one that's come across these pastors so thanks so much for watching guys and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and remember there's no team like the a team until next time guys bye <laughs>